Hi, it's Matt from HowToMotorcycleRepair.com. Um, in today's video, we're going to do an oil change on this 87 KLR 650. Um, so I just took it around the block a few times to get the engine nice and warm. And uh, I'm ready to bring up the lift and uh, drain the oil. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so underneath the bike here, you can see that the drain plug is right there. Um, what I like to use is a ratchet that has an on-off selector. Basically, um, I've seen too many stripped drain bolts um, where people get confused by using an open-end wrench or a ratchet that does not have this on-off feature. So, um, this takes the guesswork out of it. And my drain pan right here. Now this drain plug was stripped. At some point it was re-tapped for a larger size. Um, and I believe it was drilled and tapped with the engine in place so it kind of went in crooked. And as a result, RTV needs to be used um, to seal up this drain plug. Alright, so I'm going to give that a few minutes to drain. Alright, so it's been about five minutes or so. Um, <laughs> I reapplied my RTV to the drain plug here. And we'll just reinsert it. Alright, so just gently tighten that up. Now, I'm going to let that RTV sit up for 24 hours or overnight um, before I fill it up with oil. But uh, if yours is not stripped and you're not doing that procedure, well then you can just skip that step. So let's go ahead and change the oil filter. I'm on the right side of the bike right now and right here by the oil filler cap, this is where the oil filter is. So it's 8 millimeter bolts. We can go ahead and loosen that up. You can pull this out here. And this tapered end or this uh, neck down end goes into that side there. Now I like to use Wix filters. Um, you can get them at O'Reilly's or rockauto.com or you can go to Napa and Napa's part number is PS4951 versus Wix number 24951 so they just dropped the two so 
And another tip is I like to rip off the top here and write down 87 KLR 650. And I have a huge stack of, of these just sitting near my oil filters and I kind of flip through and uh, have it accessible for when I don't need to go buy a filter. All that information is right there. I don't have to mess around. So inspect all this, make sure it's uh, pretty clean. Insert it in the new filter. Slide it in. So the new kit comes with a new O-ring, or the new oil filter does. So we're going to go ahead and reinstall that. I like to use these picks. Just get down underneath it. Put your new one on. Right, you can clean everything up, get a little bit of degrease around here. Alright, so we're ready to put oil in, uh, but in my case, it's not going to be until tomorrow, so I'll see you then. Okay, it's uh, been a day since I drained the oil and put the oil plug, plug back in with the RTV, let that set up. Uh, we can remove the oil filler cap here, don't lose the O-ring. Okay, down here is the sight glass. There's two tick marks. Here's the lower level and the upper level. And right here it says 2.5 liters. And that's how much it takes to fill this up. So that's about 2.5 quarts. Um, I'm going to dump 2.5 in, or just to about the full mark. We'll start it up, let oil circulate through the filter, uh, wait a few minutes for it to drain back, and just check the level as well. Um, the oil I'm using is uh, Valvoline motorcycle oil, 1040, 10W40. It was on sale at uh, the auto parts store, so I just picked it up. I usually use this stuff or um, the Honda GN4. Uh, the Honda dealer is pretty local to me, so I stop in there and pick that up if possible. So I'm not going to tell you what kind of oil to run. You can uh, obviously read a ton of info on oil on the web. So that's about two and a half right there. Let's go 
go ahead and fire this thing up for a few minutes. Now I'm just going to wait a few minutes, uh, let the oil drain, and see where the level's at. Alright, you can see the oil levels are uh, pretty close to full, but I'm going to add it just to where the, the bottom of the meniscus here is, is to this tick mark here. So I'm not going to bore you with the details here. I'm just going to keep adding oil till uh till we reach there and my camera battery is dying. Man, I really need to replace this camera battery. Anyway, uh check out my site howtomotorcyclerepair.com. Thanks for watching this video.